Hello. 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 How are you doing? Oof. Oh, what? oh, nice as well, one, Andy. As well as Gavin's ballet <laughs> trainer, we also have some real gymnastics here in the studio. Great <laughs> skills, then. Well, well, we've also you. got the world's best as well. Yes, recently, Beth Tweddle was crowned world champion on the asymmetric bars. But before we see her in action, let's find out a little bit more about her. I first started gymnastics when I was seven years old. I tried every other sport, hockey, ballet, swimming, wasn't too keen on them, so my dad took me along to the gym. Absolutely loved it. I entered my first competition when I was just seven years old. Two years later, I was second in the country. I moved on to my first international in 1998, just age 12. My first World Championships was in 2001, and more recently, the World Championships in 2006. I love gymnastics because we get to travel, meet new friends and see new countries. But it is hard with the amount of hours we have to train. Four to six hours a day, six days a week. And I'm doing full-time university, studying sports science, hopefully doing physiotherapy in the future. There's four main events that I train and compete in. The first and my favourite is the asymmetric bars. I like this event because since I was younger, I've always found it a lot easier than the other three apparatus. This is my second favourite because you can use your own piece of music and show off your own personality. I find this most nerve-wracking during competition. I like the vault, but I find it the most boring to train. The best and most memorable part of my gymnastics career has to be the World Championships in October this year, when I became world champion on the asymmetric bars. Wow! Fantastic, Beth! And showing off the turns and tumbles that she won that gold medal for, here's Beth Tweddle. Welcome back to the studio. It's good to see you. I have in my hands your gold medal. Looks absolutely amazing. How did it feel, feel to get the gold? Um, absolutely fantastic. It just means all the hard work that myself and Amanda have put in has paid off over the years. Now, I just saw you there in that package. Uh, you were a seven-year-old back <laughs> then. How you, can you give any advice or any tips for anyone out there that's a budding gymnast and wants to go for that gold? Just keep going. People might put you down, but... Don't ignore them, just get on with it and remember anything's possible. That is great advice. And maybe one day, like you, they'll be a world champion. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> That'd be great, wouldn't it? How are you not out of breath after that? It's just <laughs> incredible. I don't know. Listen, we got a little bit of a surprise from you from our friends, the Sports Personality of the Year. They've been inundated with letters from St Albans Primary School in Merseyside who wish you all the very best, think you've done some fantastic things, and they'll be voting for you in December for the show as well. Isn't that nice? Fantastic. Have you visited the school? Do you know the guys there? Um, I did sport relief with them. Ah, uh, that'll be why. Look, there's loads of them. Loads. Amazing. They think Lots you're of great. Fans there. Very true. And we have our own surprise of our own. We want to give you one of these. Yes, we thought, you know, seeing as you are the number one in the world on the asymmetrical bars, we'd add to your gold collection for that and give you a highest accolade we can award. It is the gold Ooh. blue Peter Bad. And look, and we can put that on with your very own gold medal. And look. All gold, wow. Looks that great. That's beautiful. Well, well done. Thank you very much indeed for coming in. Great to see you and good luck with everything in the future. Thanks very much.